What is up guys, Tabby here and welcome back to my channel. I am so excited for this video. I've been looking forward to this for a couple weeks now because I have a brand new Harry Potter subscription box. This box is actually curated in France, so it traveled quite a ways to get to me. And it is called Mist and Magic. I adore their label. That is so magical. I actually saw an unboxing of this box and after I saw this unbox, I went immediately to their website and they still had it available, so I bought it. But the funny thing is, the very next day, and I do mean the very next day of me buying this box, the owner and creator of Mist and Magic actually emailed me saying that they had found my channel and they wanted to send me the box for free to review on my channel and I messaged them back and I'm like that is great but I actually already bought your box <laughs> but they were actually very nice to still refund me um, and send me the box for free so full transparency yes this was sent to me for free for an honest review and honest is what I will always be but I just thought that was really funny that the next day they messaged me and I was like well I, I like your box I got it <laughs> But I do also have a little information about the company that I do want to share with you guys. Each box will be based around a magical theme and the box that I have here is kind of based off magical creatures and if we were actually like living the life of a magical zoologist, um, there are not any licensed items in these boxes. All of their products are made in-house or designed by them and made locally. Um, the box is also vegan and cruelty free and eco friendly. They say they try to use recyclable material in all of their packaging. And it also says we will not find any feather, leather, or product derived from animal or that has been tested on animals, which I personally absolutely adore that they're doing all of this. And there are two versions that you can buy. You can buy a mini box, which has eight plus items, or a maxi box, which has 12 plus items. But for now, each box is like a special edition one time purchase. But they said, if everything goes well, then they will be doing quarterly um, subscription boxes. But guys, that is enough rambling from me because even though I've seen every item in this box, I still cannot wait to open it and touch everything and see it in person. So yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and unbox this. If you were interested, keep watching and let's get into it. Right on top is their business card with just their logo and then all of their information on the back. First, I'm gonna go ahead and open this box, but before I do, Look at this packaging. This is so freaking cute. This is Care for Your Baby Dragon Essentials Kit. This brings me back to year one when Hagrid was looking in the library for books to take care of Norbert. So this is what we see. And right on top we have a cute little baby dragon sticker. And then we have this cute little tin that says Dragon Treats Vitamin and Mineral Supplements. Essential nutrients for your baby dragon's growth and it has like these orange little like crystal Kind of things that are like treats for your dragon, but again, it does say warning This is dragon food. Do not eat it They did tell me in the email that there is nothing in here that is edible Everything is for display purposes only so don't try to eat it But this is so freaking cute and then we have this little thing right here that says soothing lotion baby dragon wings repair and nourish like that is so freaking cute and on the back it says in case of scratches or redness of your baby dragon's wings apply five drops of the lotion on the cloth and gently rub the tender area in circular motions twice a day for 10 days I mean, that is freaking adorable. You can open it. It doesn't have anything in there, but you can put water in here, which I think I might do just, you know, to kind of pretend I'm taking care of my baby dragon. These little things will probably go on my creature section over here. Like, ugh, that is so freaking cute. Is it not? It makes me want to have a baby dragon. Not really, because Norbert was mean. He was mean. Next, we have a, another really cute freaking box that says the Magical Naturalist. Like, I adore the details on these boxes. That is so cute. And it is a hippogriff coffee mug. It has the hippogriff on here and then like little details about the hippogriff all the way around. This kind of reminds me of like 
Newt Scamander and like the notes he would take about different magical creatures. You guys know I love Harry Potter mugs and I don't think I've really gotten that many magical creature mugs so I absolutely adore this. Next we have probably my favorite item out of this entire box and it is the Magic Zoologist Apothecary Antidote Potions. Like look at this label. That is so pretty. And then on the side, it has finest ingredients, highly concentrated mixtures, mixed with utmost care, and then hand poured in Scotland. But guys, look at these potions. These are so pretty. Okay, let's start with the missile weed. Restorative drought, which is like with green weed. I guess grass type of thing and then we have gold crystal essence this literally has like pieces of gold in here with these beautiful white crystals like this is freaking gorgeous and the last one was darkness stones and it's like stones in here but they're like sparkly purplish black like it's just really pretty and sparkly and I'm a sucker for pretty sparkly stuff like but guys, look at the box that they sent this in. They inlined this with like green velvet. Like their attention to detail is freaking awesome. I don't think I've ever gotten like a potion set. Like I've gotten tons of like potions, but I've never gotten a potion set, especially one that is made as detailed as this one. Like I honestly think I'm gonna keep it in the box just because I adore the box. But next we have an enamel pin. It is Mist and Magic number one, Basilisk Venom. Oh, this is so pretty. It's like a vial of Basilisk Venom, but it also has like a little Basilisk fang kind of attached to the bottle. Like this is such a cool design and oh, I love it so freaking much. And you can tell this is really good quality. If only they would have had a vial of Basilisk Venom when Harry and them were trying to destroy the Horcruxes. Like just having this would have been perfect. Just little drop and Horcrux dead. And next we have the Pocketbook of Magical Creatures. This is such a cool replica or item that you would get from the Wizarding World because it actually is like a little book. I mean it has the author printed by Grey Feathers Books in Scotland. It has a preface page. It has a contents page. And then it kind of tells you a little bit about magical creatures. We have the dragon, the griffin, the hydra, the wyvern, if I said that right. And then we have the phoenix, the unicorn, the kelpie, the manticore. Ooh, a manticore. And then it has a little map that says magical creatures of the British Isles. And it has like different locations where those magical creatures are more likely to be found. Like... This is so freaking cute. Like, this is well thought out. It looks like it came from the magical world. Like, I am such a fan of this. There are not words. Next, we have a tote bag, which is a fairly good size. And it says, Magical Bestiary of Creatures, if I said that right. Bestiary? But it has tons of different magical creatures. The dragon, phoenix, hippogriff, basilisk. Sea dragon, unicorn, stag, banticore, and the detail on each of these is just absolutely amazing. I don't know who drew this, but wow. And you guys know I love tote bags, especially Harry Potter ones, so I am a fan. You can never have too many tote bags. That is my mantra. <laughs> okay, guys. You guys know I love me some good Harry Potter art prints, obviously. Just prepare yourself. Just prepare yourself. And there are actually two of them. This is the first one. Ah, look at this. Oh my gosh, it's so pretty. Like, look at all of the details, the border, the writing, the picture. And this is like good quality paper. I don't even know poster like this is thick but the next one I have to say is my favorite out of these two it is dragon eggs ah, the detail of this ah, 
purple sparkly one's my favorite. The Northern Sea Serpent. Ooh, very cool. Oh, I cannot wait to hang this on my wall. Wow. I just love the borders that they do on these art prints. Like, that is just pretty. The quality of this is legit. Like, I can't say that enough. Oh, I love it. Next we have Certificate of Authenticity, Magical Creatures of the Old Continent Map. So this is like a full map. Like, wow. Like, I'm gonna have to take a video and like show you guys because I don't think you can really see. It has magical creatures in different locations. Again, I kind of think it's like where that creature is more likely to live. And then again, look at the border. Look at this. Like, that is just freaking awesome. The only thing that I will say about this is I kind of wish it would have been rolled up instead of folded. Because sometimes when you fold it, it'll forever leave that like indent on it. So it's like, even if it's straight, you can still tell that there was a line and it kind of messes the picture up. Maybe it was too big to roll or on too hard of paper type of thing. Cause this is again, good quality. And next we have a notebook. It is filled notes, magical creatures. So this is kind of what we would use when we go out into the world to study magical creatures, to keep all of our notes on. And this is the inside, like, ugh. Again, their attention to detail is just amazing. This same thing on the back side. So very cool. I do love a good notebook. I have quite a few, but you can never have too many, right? Right? That's what I tell myself. Next we have like a prophet or something, but it's the magic zoo magic. Magi Zoologist. I've been saying that wrong this entire time. Um, the Magi Zoologist. Uh, so it's kind of like the Daily Prophet, but it's their spoiler card and it talks about like all of the different items. So we will save this for last. Next we have this folder that says Winterdale University of Magic Diploma. And it's an actual diploma, guys. Like with gold foiling and everything and it has a blank space where we can sign our name the degree of magic magi zoologist in recognition of fulfillment of requirements and all of that and it even has a wax seal this is legit guys like look at the tip of these like this is actual metal oh my gosh this is so pretty i'm a sucker for some gold foiling i really am and last but not least <sighs> This has a lot to it, okay? This is Ministry of Magic, Magical Creatures Department. Information in this record is restricted. So this is like an actual file from the Ministry of Magic. The subject is the Horned Basilisk Escape. Jurisdiction, Birmingham, date. 1810-1925. On the inside, it has like a bunch of different papers about the horned basilisk. And this right here is like another thing that we can personalize. This certifies that my name, date of birth, all of that is hereby authorized to handle and apprehend magical creature and spirits. And then I sign. So it's like my official license saying that I can catch magical creatures. And then it also has a guide to the classification of all known magical creatures. And it has like different classifications. Like the first one is boring. Um, the second one is harmless, maybe domesticated, domesticated. The third one is mildly dangerous, competent wizard should cope. The fourth one is dangerous, requires specialist knowledge skilled wizard may handle and then the last one is extremely dangerous known wizard killer impossible to train or domesticate <laughs> i love the first one boring and then over here we have the warrant to apprehend the horned basilisk and it's like the warrant issued by da 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 and then over here we can write on this and kind of personalize it again 
And then right here, we have the official file on the Horned Basilisk. Like it says, very high risk. It's the last category. It will kill you. Um, the Horned Basilisk, the details about the creature, witness, transcript. Like, the Basilisk went missing a Monday morning. I had just begun my shift and was, as usual, checking all the enclosed areas to see if everything was in order. That's when I noticed a darkened area. And when I looked closer, I saw a hole in the ground. The basilisk was nowhere to be seen. I was so frightened I immediately ran and called my superior. This is so cool. This is something like this is something that we would actually get from the wizarding world and if we were actual magic zoologists, I keep saying that wrong, magi zoologist? Is that French? Because you know this is a French magi? Magi zoology? Magi zoology. I don't know. I don't know how to say it. Again, the detail that they went into for this box, like, that is just cool. I'm sorry. It's cool. But guys, that was everything in the box. Let's take a quick look at our, the Magie Zoologist. Zoologist. This is such a cool way to do a spoiler card. Like, it even has, like, the weather will appear in the next issue exclusive interview. And then it talks about the escaped basilisk and all of that. But it tells us all of the content. So we had 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. We had 12 items. But then it shows us little information about every single item. Can you identify dragon eggs? Talking about the dragon egg poster the antidote potions, and it tells us what each one of those potions do. Like the darkness stone is a potent antidote to most poisonous substances. Thank God I have it now. Um, the gold crystal elixir soothes pain, cuts, bites, and stings while stimulating tissue regrowth. So if my dragon bites me, Thank God I can be healed. Um, then the Missileweed Restorative Drought, freshly cut Iceland Missileweed marinated in magical spices and powders to restore and repair scarred tissue. I wonder if it could do anything about uh, stretch marks after birth. Then the Essential Dragon Kit tells us about that. The map, which is a 500 year old map, reveals its secrets. And then we have the notebook, the pocketbook of magical creature, the hippogriff mug. And then it tells us about the other art print here, the tote bag, and the enamel pin. Oh, dude, it even gave us a crossword puzzle. And it has like a little section with your zodiac sign. So I am a Taurus. What does it say? Spirits are high, but you must stay clear of power struggles. Bide your time. It will all clear up by the end of the week. Hmm, okay. But that was everything from the box. As always, you guys will have to let me know what was your favorite item, least favorite. Oh, I don't know. This is really hard. Like, I loved everything from this box. Even the spoiler card, like, I'm definitely gonna read this in detail. Honestly, I kind of think this file from the Ministry of Magic might be my favorite, just because of all the personalization that we can do, and just, it's just freaking cool. I mean, I don't know. I literally loved everything though. But you guys will have to let me know what you think of this box overall in the comments down below. What do you think of the price point, the items, just the theme overall? Um, as you could tell through me geeking out through this entire video, I adored this box. I thought this was such a good theme. And the fact that I kind of feel like I work for the Ministry of Magic now and I am prepared to do my job and go hunt this basilisk, like, I think they did a good job. Now, if you like licensed items in boxes, this might not be for you, but I prefer handmade items, like stuff that you can't get anywhere else but a subscription box. I'm so glad that I was finally able to share this with you guys, and a big thank you to the creators of Mist and Magic for sending this to me. I appreciate it so much, and they said nothing but kind words. But as always, thank you guys so much for watching. If you liked this video, give it a thumbs up. And if you're new to my channel, hey, welcome. Feel free to hit that subscribe button if you want to join my small community of Harry Potter lovers and bookworms and I will see y'all next time. Bye guys. This a box. This is amazing. Oh where'd my scissors go? Key. Oh. Pur purposes. Hippogriff. Stuff.
because I can't think of the name. But I am geeking out so hard. Ugh, words. Tote bag. Ugh, stupid train. Wait till the train goes by. Train, train, go away. Come back some other day. Ah, no, losing it. Oh yeah. Love it, love it, love it. Mm -hmm.